Hello everyone, it's Mark. I am the Sanderson Collector, and I am finally home and mostly recovered from JordanCon, so I want to tell you all a little bit about what went on and why I enjoyed the convention so much. For those of you who don't know, JordanCon is a convention in Atlanta, Georgia that happens sometime usually during April. It was founded by the Wheel of Time community. It is named after Robert Jordan, the author of The Wheel of Time and it has sort of morphed into a semi sandercon in the recent years since Brandon took over and finished the series. He is usually at the convention every two or three years. He was not actually there this year, but he was there last year. This is the 11th year of Jordan Con, and the theme this year was The Darkest Timeline. I didn't actually do much with the theme. You won't actually see that in my cosplay or anything else, but that was the theme, and it was a lot of fun. The convention is officially Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of whatever weekend it's on each year. I fly in Thursday evening and fly out Monday morning so that I'm there the entire time. I don't have to worry about leaving from a panel or getting in late if my flight is delayed or anything, and I find it so much less stressful to do it this way. So if you're going to the convention and you have the extra vacation days and the money to spend on the hotel, I highly recommend showing up a day early and staying a day late because you'll have people to chat with the entire time and it's honestly not any wasted time at all so that's my recommendation and flying in Thursday allowed me to do something special this year I went with another one of Sanderson's beta readers and several acquaintances of his and we went and saw Avengers Endgame Thursday evening at a I guess like pre midnight showing it was the day that it was coming out and so we got to see it right on one of the first showings. That was awesome. Also, I really enjoyed the movie. If you're a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I highly recommend, you know, you should have already seen it, but go see it if you haven't. Friday is check-in day, so I went and checked in, got my badge, and met a bunch of the people that I'd been hoping to see, met some new people, and went and stocked up on supplies. When I'm at a convention like this, I usually get just some bowls and spoons, Cheerios and milk because it makes it cheap and easy to have breakfast every morning and I don't have to worry about leaving my room to get anything and I'm fed for at least the first part of the day. So I went out and did that. And then we went to opening ceremonies which were fun as awesome. And this year the opening ceremonies included a great tribute to one of the JordanCon members that we lost this past year, Steve Gadecki, who was also one of Brandon's beta readers and an absolutely amazing person and it's really sad that we lost him. The tribute that Ross and Jory put together made me cry. After opening ceremonies the first panel I went to was a round table which is essentially the JordanCon version of a coffee clutch where you sit around and chat with some authors and they chat with each other and it's really cool and personal and the authors that I went to go see were Aleron Kong and Jen Lyons, and I was there specifically to see Jen Lyons. She is the author of The Ruin of Kings, an epic fantasy that came out in February of this year, which I read and absolutely loved. I highly recommend it, although I know that there are some people out there who did not enjoy the book, so, you know, your mileage may vary, but I absolutely loved it. I brought my copies of the book to get her to sign, and that was awesome. She also signed a copy of Mistborn for me, so I have another book to get countersigned by Brandon, and that was a lot of fun. On Saturday, I dressed up in my cosplay. This year, I was Doomslug! The Doomslug costume was a little bit hot, but it was also very, very comfortable, very soft, and I got a lot of compliments. A lot of people really enjoyed it, so I'm super glad I put it together. My mom helped me make the costume, and we basically took a set of yellow pajamas and cut up a yoga mat and sewed it onto the back with blue yarn to make the spines and then took blue ribbon and sewed it all around the costume to make the stripe that goes around. And I wore the costume all day including to the panel that I was on so that was a blast. I also wore the costume to the Brent Weeks signing. Brent Weeks was the guest of honor this year. I'm sure pretty much all of y'all have heard of him. He's another very well-known epic fantasy author who is very often mentioned as being very similar to Brandon. I read his first series, the Night Angel series, and really enjoyed it. I have not read the Lightbringer series yet. 
I am waiting for the last book to come out so I can binge the series all at one time. I do, however, have the first four books and I took those to get signed and because I'm me I also ended up just working the signing line for Brent Weeks and making sure everyone's books were flapped to the right pages and had sticky notes in them and stuff. If you'll recall from my earlier videos, this is like my favorite job at signings. I love doing this. It is just so awesome and it was great to do it for Brent Weeks. His signing line was really well behaved. Everyone was, you know, excited to be there and stuff, so that's always fun. And I ran off right after that to my own panel. I was on the Bands of Mourning panel this year at Jordan Con, and that was also a really good panel. And honestly, I ended up spending more time listening to the other panelists than saying anything myself. But, you know, that was fine because they had interesting things to say, and I did have a few things that I got to say. So, I really enjoyed being on that panel. And the other two most notable panels that I went to on Saturday were, first, the Dan Dos Santos Spotlight Panel. Dan Dos Santos was the guest of honor. You may recognize Dan Dos Santos' art. He did the cover for Warbreaker. And additionally, he did the end, front end papers for Oathbringer. And so he's done some really cool art for Sanderson. And at the panel, he showed off the art that he has done for the 10th anniversary edition of Warbreaker, which is not publicly released yet, so I can't show it to y'all. All I can do is say that it was absolutely freaking awesome. I am so excited for the Leatherbound 10th anniversary edition of Warbreaker because it is going to be gorgeous with all of the art that's going to be in there. And after the Dando Santos panel, there was the Team Sanderson Spotlight panel, which this year was Peter and Karen. Peter is Brandon's personal assistant and editorial assistant, handles all of the editorial details as well as interfacing between Brandon and other people a lot of the time. Karen is Brandon's personal continuity editor. She maintains the internal wiki of all the things that characters have said, when things happen in books, whether or not Brandon has stated something as a fact in the book yet, and she keeps him straight on canon. And they both talked about their jobs. We got to see some of the wiki pages that Karen has put together and how she organizes the information. We got to see some of the pages that Peter has made editorial notes on and how he goes through these things and what they do. And so that was super awesome. And it's always cool to see the two of them and see what they've been up to. Also during the day Saturday, I went and picked up my 24 copies of the Jordan Con Anthology. And yes, I said 24. The people who were running the room where you pick up the copies in the anthology went into mild shock when they saw my order and had to deliver it to me, which was honestly kind of fun. Uh, several of those are already going out to friends and other collectors that I know. One of those copies of the Jordan Con Anthology is actually in a giveaway, which is running through this coming weekend. Link to that is in the description. And so go ahead and enter if you haven't already and you'd like to win the Jordan Con Anthology. At the end of the day Saturday was perhaps my favorite part of the convention. I went to dinner with a lot of the other Sanderson Bader readers who were at the convention and Peter and Karen. And it was, well, one, really good food and two, just absolutely amazing company. These people are some of my favorite people in the world and getting to hang out with them feels like going home and being with family. It is just one of the best experiences ever. So getting to go out to dinner and hang out with all these people that I know and that know me and like me as a person is just absolutely amazing. And I'm glad we had time to do that this year. One little tidbit that Peter dropped during dinner is that as a beta reader, if you want to invite your spouse to beta read the books with you, you are allowed to do that. So, you know, I'm still single. On a more serious note, Sunday was the end of the convention and the last couple of panels. The highlights of the day were the trivia panel where my team came in third place. Here is the medal that we got for being third place in the competition. You can see that we are called the Rhythmatists. I believe the second place team was called Mistborns and first place team was called Knights Radiant. The competition was really hard and I am very proud of my team and how well we did. And it's always a lot of fun to do the trivia contests. So that is something I highly encourage going to if you make it to Jordan Con. And there were a bunch of other awesome panels I went to, but I honestly can't remember all of them or which days they were. There were panels on the Cosmere, panels on writing. Anyway, it's awesome and there's always a lot of stuff to do. And also there's CouchCon, 
which is essentially hanging out in the lobby and chatting. I stayed up until like two or three in the morning chatting with people almost every day. And that was so, so cool to just have people that I can hang out and be with and be comfortable with. That about wraps up my JordanCon experience for this year. There are a couple other things that I do wanna talk about. First, I managed to get 11 ribbons this year. Badge ribbons are kind of a collectible thing that you go around and get from other people or when you check in or whatever at JordanCon. And, you know, some people go crazy. I've seen people with 30 plus ribbons, like to the point that they actually are tripping over their badge ribbons. I stay a little bit more reserved, but this was the most I'd ever gotten. And I'm really proud of all the ones that I did get and they're super cool. So this badge is gonna go hang with my other badges, um, by the way. This is more art by Dan Dos Santos. This was the art for the Fires of Heaven ebook cover in the Wheel of Time series and the reissue as a large format paperback. And so it's super cool art. And so it made for a really nice badge this year. The other thing I'd like to talk about is the fact that I actually have fans, which is super, super cool. And I'm still honestly a little bit in shock about this. As you can see in the picture here, two of them came to hang out with me for some of the con. This is Luke and Danny, and they are absolutely awesome people. I was just amazed to meet people who watched my videos and enjoyed them and encouraged me to keep posting them. So that was an absolute treat. And thank you both for being there. If anyone else watching this was there and didn't say hi to me, I'll be back next year, so go ahead and say hi then. And if you weren't there this year, I'll still be there next year, so you can come and say hi then. This month is going to be a little bit of a mishmash. This video was delayed. I was planning to film it Friday night, and we had a huge thunderstorm, and it was rumbling and shaking, and the video wouldn't have been any good at all. And then I was gone all weekend to a friend's wedding up in Minnesota, and got back late Sunday, so now it's Monday, and I'm finally getting around to recording it. This month's schedule is gonna be a little bit out of whack, but by next month, I should be back on the regular schedule. That's everything for this week. If you wanna go find out more about JordanCon, there's a link to information about that in the description. Also, you know, if you have any questions about the convention or wanna say anything, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And that's everything for this week, so happy collecting.